Y'all better stop selling for these no nothing motherfuckers just because you want to have sex or just because your nature kick in and you want to be with somebody and you say, oh, well, I'm lonely tonight and it's just sex. You know what? You got to start looking at your body as a temple and say, you know what? I deserve better than that. You got to put your vagina and your penis on a very, very high pedestal. And I don't care what you feel, you got to learn how to be sexually disciplined and say, you know what? This vagina and this penis is worth way more than that. Even though that is available, don't mean that you need to do that. So it's all about, and they always, I hate to say this word, finding your worth. And as, and as much as a lot of us say it, a lot of us have not found our worth. Yet, I speak for myself also. I ain't saying I'm giving away no cat, but what I am saying is that you got to put some uh, respect on your body because these men, they will run through you as a woman and you are, and they just, they just, you just like a, 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 a playlist. They just going down the playlist with women, hurting women. That's why so many people on the internet, so many people making videos talking about how hurt they are because at the end of the day, they really are. Because you got people out here playing with people's mind and emotion just to, just to get a motherfucking nut. But you got to become sexually disciplined. And if, if you don't know how to help yourself, ask God to help you. Ask God to help you. Because it is available. And you know what? After you don't get something for so long... You don't even want it no more. That's how the body, that's how them urges is. It ain't number lust. And I, I truly believe that you can't make people respect you until you start respecting yourself. As long as you keep letting him run up in you, he gonna keep running up in you. And I tell people this, and I was thinking about this too this morning. Everything, a lot of women say, or men say, oh, but she keep coming back. They keep coming back. Nah, they coming back to you to see if you was the fool you were last time. They ain't coming back to you because your pussy or your energy or you was such a good person um, that they ain't never seen before. They keep coming back to you because they coming back to you to see if you was the fool that you were last time. But do yourself a favor. Next time they leave you or go off mad or whatever they do, make sure when they come back you're a different person. Respectfully, be on a different vibe with them. Respect, respectfully, don't jump in bed with them. Respectfully, leave them short on the text message the same way they left you short. You ain't got to block a motherfucker because a lot of times you don't even got to give people the energy that they give you. Just respectfully let them know that motherfucker, I don't need you now. I have found who I am, what I am, and how powerful I am. I don't need you. So it comes to a time in our life where we have to learn self-worth. We have to know that our vagina and everything has to align with respect. And everybody get horny. If if you everybody get horny. If you're a Herman, you get horny. You want this and you want that. But just know that everybody don't deserve that. And people work for what they want too. If, if the energy is good there, if they treat you good, if they putting the work in, I'm talking about, I ain't just talking about man and one, woman. I'm talking about men and that's also entertaining women. Because at these days, a lot of people say, oh, well, I ain't chasing. You know what? You don't have to chase what's real. It's going to be mutual. And if it's not mutual energy, that's another indicator that you need to roll on. And if it is mutual energy, at a time, but it's never really consistent. Let that shit roll. Baby, baby, we, uh, people ain't getting 90 and 100 and 1,500 years old like they did in the Bible. That means that ain't none of us got time for games. People dying every day. Do you. Be happy with you. Find your self-worth at first worth as a, patient, a person. And at the end of the day, if you didn't know who you are and you are coming into who you are, don't be depressed that you didn't know who you was for a little while. As long as you know now. My grandma used to say, it's okay to be a fool for a little while, but don't be no motherfucking fool for the rest of your life. Because a lot of y'all will beat y'all self up.
going into a depression. Oh, I know better. I could have did this. I could have did that. Yeah, you could have. But you know what? Life teaches us many lessons. So you live and you learn. And a lot of times, you ain't got to be nasty. In these days and time, people already know when they playing you. You ain't got to keep telling them this and keep telling them that. Just get lost on their ass. Just scram like they said. Get lost on that motherfucker and just let that and just do you. Start working out. Start going to the gym. Start looking at your diet, cleaning up your house. Get another job. Distract yourself with positive things. That's what you got to do. Love on yourself. Buy yourself gifts. Ask yourself, what would you, where would you like to go today? Oh, a lot of people say, well, I don't like to be lonely. Being lonely is a blessing. Being lonely is a blessing because a lot of times you ain't got to deal with certain shit. You ain't got to deal with certain shit. Y'all will get tired of bullshit, but some of y'all like toxicity. Some of y'all like that it, 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 it becomes your life. And it, and it, it may become your life, but it's going to poison you to death spiritually. You can believe that. So, like they said, and I used to hate this time, know your worth. And also know what you deserve as a woman and a man. Everybody don't deserve a piece of you. Everybody don't deserve um, all that good woman and all that good man. You know what? It's not embarrassing to say, oh, well, I ain't got nobody. I don't got nobody on food. I ain't nothing embarrassing about that. Because a lot of people putting up with shit that they don't need to be putting up with anyway. They holler, oh, well, I got this nigga taking me. I got this and that. You know what? How many of them giving you what you really deserve, though? How them? How many of them making you feel like somebody? A lot of that shit ain't nothing but some sex. They making roses on Amazon and shipping them out every day. If that's all you chasing is a nut, Nut, nigga. Nut, woman. Okay, I'm too real today.